So it's my great pleasure to introduce one of the big stars of mathematical physics, welcome to Japan now. Uh, Masano Osawa is going to talk about problem set theory, extending standard probabilistic interpretation of problem theory. Thank you, Bo Chen. Uh, I'd like to thank the organizer for inviting me to this uh, wonderful workshop uh, for its uh, level uh, occasion. Uh, I'd like to talk about the uh, quantum set theory. It's uh, based on uh, traditional quantum logic. Uh, Maybe the categorical approach overcomes some of the efficiency of those uh, approaches. But now uh, I like to uh, stick to this traditional logic, uh, quantum logic. However, uh, we extend uh, mathematical uh, method uh, to uh, self theoretical uh, structure. Uh, and uh, now, I'd like to uh, explain how this uh, new sector uh, structure is useful uh, in uh, standard uh, quantum theory, uh, especially in some um, controversial uh, problem currently in the event. So, uh, now, now we start with some, some uh, brief history for uh, uh, theoretical uh, models uh, from forcing to top of. Uh, in 1912, uh, Brower did this intuition logic, and in uh, 1934, Hayek uh, characterized intuitionistic logic as an algebraic way, and they're called the Hayek algebra. It's, uh, <coughs> Counterpart of Boolean algebra for the classical logic. And then uh, some breakthrough uh, happened in 1963. Uh, Paul Cohen uh, proved the independence of the continuum hypothesis uh, using uh, this uh, method of forcing, which he <coughs> constructed a new uh, model of uh, the theory. And then uh, in 1967, Scott and Solvay reformulate the Cohen's method of forcing in a much more uh, tractable way, which is the uh, Boolean version models of set theory. A model of set theory for the semantical logic is Boolean algebra. Uh, from this, uh, there is uh, three uh, big streams uh, to converge to topos theory. One is uh, a variant category, <coughs> then uh, this is uh, inspired by Global's uh, uh, category set. And then a shift theory was already <coughs> established in uh, algebraic geometry, then a broader with topos in much more generalized abstract. And then a Boolean by the models of by a Scott survey, it can be easily <coughs> generalized uh, uh, hiking by instead of Boolean So uh, those uh, <coughs> methods uh, unified shift theory, category theory, and uh, set, set theory on our forcing. <coughs> now we apply those uh, philosophy to uh, quantum logic. <coughs> uh, in 1936, Burke and von Neumann uh, introduced quantum logic as a, a kind of modular uh, lattice, uh, which is uh, a generalization from the finite dimensional characterization of the uh, projective geometry to uh, infinite dimensional. But still, uh, von Neumann likes uh, modular uh, law. Uh, but uh, in 1937, uh, Simi, uh, found that the infinite dimensional Hilbert space um, closed subspaces satisfy automodular lattice, which is not uh, modular. And now the automodular uh, lattice is a standard uh, setting for quantum logic. And then in uh, 1981, um, uh, Takeuchi, he is a uh, famous uh, set theoretical uh, set theoretician. Uh, who worked in the Boolean value models and the Python value models. Now he introduced uh, also uh, pattern set theory. 
based on the standard quantum logic, which is a quantum logic variant model of set theory, in which he um, proved that the real number constructed uh, set theoretically in this uh, model uh, correspond just uh, to self agent operators on the Hilbert scale. So this means that uh, set theory based on quantum logic uh, in which the real number is just the observable of that system. And then now, uh, recently, I extend Takeuchi's uh, theory to Ponderman uh, uh, lattice variable mode, which is the uh, projection lattice of Ponderman algebra uh, from the standard quantum logic to arbitrary <coughs> projection lattice of Ponderman algebra. And uh, I established a bounded transfer principle, means that uh, which gives the uh, uh, transfer from the theorem of ZFC to some uh, <coughs> true uh, statement about uh, this model. And also, uh, we show that the real numbers in this model correspond to the self agent operators affiliated with the Honema algebra, corresponding to this projection button. So, uh, this setting is. Uh, <coughs> still very nicely fit to uh, study of the operator algebra and uh, quantum mechanics. Now, uh, <coughs> this uh, uh, structure is more uh, generalized to uh, construct the quantum theory over the any complete automotor lattice and uh, also establish the uh, unbounded uh, transfer principle for uh, arbitrary in quantum implication. Um, not only the uh, Sasaki arrow, but also or any or any uh, polynomial uh, implication, we established uh, a transfer principle from the theorem of ZFC to uh, true statement on this uh, model. Now we discuss uh, some basic uh, uh, structure of this theory, and also now we have to talk about uh, real application of this uh, set theory to uh, some um, practical problems in quantum mechanics. Here uh, we consider the uh, uh, interpretation of quantum mechanics uh, like uh, the problem uh, establishing the concept of the value of an observer. This concept is quite natural, but uh, but uh, <coughs> problematic in quantum mechanics. Uh, probably the non-existence of non-contextual hidden variables uh, proved by Koch and Schwecker uh, theorem uh, show that uh, we cannot have naive uh, language talking about the uh, value of observable. So uh, here we consider the uh, method uh, like that to construct the language of quantum <coughs> uh, logical reality instead of hidden variable or uh, classical logical reality. In fact, uh, we use the uh, quantum logical reality instead of classical logical reality. Problem of this uh, uh, conventional approach is that the quantum logic is a propositional logic and which is uh, unable to treat uh, variables like uh, <coughs> observable. Here uh, we develop a set theory based on quantum logic, which is uh, much more uh, uh, predicate logic than just the proportional logic, and which enables to treat all the uh, statements formalized in uh, set theory. For example, uh, any real number theory uh, or any theorems in real number theory can be represented in some uh, statement about this quantum theory means that for every uh, statement in set theory can be uh, associated to some uh, quantum logical truth value, which is projection. And then uh, if you are given a state of the system, uh, this projection gives you the probability of this uh, statement. So uh, we have very, very rich structure for uh, interpreting the quantum structure. 
Here uh, we like to talk about the uh, foreign results. Uh, in quantum theory, observables is uh, equivalent or equal real numbers constructed in quantum theory. So uh, we treat in quantum theory the observational proposition, uh, which talk about some uh, value of observables and uh, correspond to some projections. And then I give a state, this gives you the probability of observation proportion, which can be extended very, very generally for a proportion on real number in this quantum system. And this uh, generalization of the uh, association of the uh, proportion, or observation proportion to the projection, that projection or probability it has uh, uh, such uh, uh, a rich application uh, to quantum mechanics, which extend quantum mechanics by this uh, quantum theory, which introduce a uh, state-dependent commutativity observer. Usually, observer is commutative uh, when the operator is commute as, as, as algebraic. However, uh, this uh, uh, commutativity is state-independent set. <coughs> means that for every state, observable are commute. However, in some states, we can uh, consider that uh, observable are commute in some state, but it not a commute in another state. In such a state-dependent commutative, it is not, in, not yet uh, well established, but now we can do that. Uh, also, introduce the state-dependent equality between observable. State independent equality is just the equality between operators. However, we have also uh, some notion of state dependent uh, equality. In some states, two of them uh, look just the same. But in another state, those operators observe not, uh, looks different. In such a case, we need state dependent equality. And then uh, we define state-dependent notion of simultaneous measurability of values of observable. Now we very general statement in quantum mechanics is that uh, two observables are simultaneously measured when those uh, operators are commuting. However, this is a state-independent treatment. But uh, uh, the more uh, precise statement about uh, simultaneous measurability, or more generally, the uncertainty principle should be in state-dependent way. For example, uh, EPR state. In EPR state, uh, Schrodinger's interpretation, EPR state, uh, or, or uh, EPR thought experiment is that if you measure uh, particle 2, <coughs> then you know the uh, particle 1. For example, if you measure the momentum particle 2, then uh, by the correlation of the equal state, you can know the uh, momentum of particle 1. But then you have uh, measured the momentum particle 1 without uh, mechanically disturbed particle 1. Then you can simultaneously measure directly the position of particle 1. In this way, the Schrodinger uh, claim that the EPL experiment can be, be interpreted as the uh, simultaneous measurement of position moment. So, uh, uncertainty principle in the general uh, or standard form was violated in this point. If you consider the state-dependent notion of simultaneous measurement. Now we should uh, establish new uncertainty principle. Some uh, references uh, given here. Uh, Takeuchi's paper is published in 1981. This is a conference proceeding. And uh, uh, my basic paper about quantum uh, set theory is published in 2007 with journals with symbolic resources. <coughs> now we start with the uh, axiom of quantum mechanics. Maybe you know very well. <laughs> um, here, the uh, Quantum system is the Hilbert space, and the state is a unit vector. Observable is a self vector. And the Schrodinger equation is uh, described as a change of the uh, time evolution of the state of the isolated system. And uh, this uh, uh, Schrodinger equation gives a unitary evolution. And then uh, this 
uh, uh, the, the last uh, axiom here is that uh, Born's statistical form. The probability that mutually commuting observables A1 to An take values in intervals I1 to An in a state psi is uh, given by uh, this formula. And the probability for A1 is in interval I1 and dot 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 uh, An is in interval In in state psi is equal to uh, the Length of the vector psi is state vector psi applied to all these uh, spectral projections. Here are uh, this terms for the spectral projection of an observable ray corresponding to an interval i. So the uh, squared norm can correspond to the uh, probability. Now uh, we consider the more uh, logical way we to <coughs> look at this. Uh, uh, Phantom axiom. To clarify the logical principle behind the phantom axiom, we can define observation proposition as follows. Uh, atomic observation proposition, we put the, uh, this form. A is in interval I. Then, an uh, introduction of the logical symbols, uh, negation and uh, <coughs> conjunction. <coughs> then, uh, all these uh, observation purpose is just a uh, constructive uh, finite introduction of those uh, logical things. This is standard way to uh, define the uh, proposition in a proportional culture. And we also, the terms and implication are introduced <coughs> by the Morgan law, and this is a standard way to introduce uh, implication in quantum mechanics. Then uh, we consider the uh, quantum logic. Uh, the, because uh, oh, this uh, uh, atomic observational proportion naturally corresponds to the uh, spectral projection of this operator. So uh, we consider the, uh, some um, logical um, semantical structure of the closed subspace, in Hilbert space, or uh, projection maps uh, which are uh, asymptotic. Then our, we have the uh, complete uh, complemented lattice with orthogonal complementation uh, taking the uh, orthogonal complement. And also lattice operation on and, and or. And uh, then uh, this lattice is uh, equivalent to the projection lattice. And the projection lattice and Close the subspace lattice, it just corresponds to the range of the projection. Then we call the lattice of projection as quantum logic. So we represent uh, quantum logic as a uh, lattice structure projection. And uh, quantum logic is non distributive lattice, but satisfies the automodular law. It uh, means that uh, if uh, M1 is smaller than M2, then uh, M1 is equal to uh, this. Then uh, we define the uh, truth value of the observation proposition by following uh, regards to rules. Uh, the uh, atomic uh, proposition uh, A is in the interval I corresponds to uh, this spectral projection. Uh, not to psi corresponds to the orthogonal uh, complement of psi. And psi 1 and psi 2 correspond to the uh, Increment of two projections uh, corresponding to phi one and phi two. So in this way, uh, we can associate uh, all the uh, to all the uh, observation proportions to some uh, projection in the uh, this uh, projection lattice, and this plays a role of the. Uh, Truth value, uh, just like the Borel sets in the probability theory. Then, a uh, general uh, statistical formula, uh, statistical formula, Born statistical formula, can be generalized in the uh, following way for any observation proportion phi. So, uh, the probability of an observation proportion phi being true in the state 
psi is given by the state state vector psi applied uh, by projection uh, corresponding to this uh, truth value of this uh, observation function uh, phi and taking the square of the length. This is defined by <coughs> uh, a proportion a uh, probability of this uh, observation proportion in state psi. Then uh, this is simply the uh, conjunction of the atomic uh, observation proportion and this corresponds to uh, this uh, projection. And this the formula gives you the, this general uh, formula which includes uh, not necessarily commuting operators. However, if all of these uh, observers are commuting, we have this minimum uh, uh, to be the um, product of the project. Then uh, we obtain the usual form formula. So, form formula is uh, reconstructed from this general statistical formula for assigning uh, observational uh, proportion to projection and then a projection to so, but uh, we we need to uh, more uh, complicate, more rich structure for uh, logical treatment of uh, observational proportion. So there's a demand for extending the standard interpretation quantum theory. The standard interpretation assigns the property to the observation proportion of the form uh, A is in uh, interval I, but uh, does not uh, to the observation proportion of the form, for example, A is equal to B or A is equal to F of B, and so on. Now we shall show that the uh, quantum set theory extends this standard <coughs> interpretation to a uh, a considerably rich class of observational proportion, including A is equal to B, A is less than B, A is equal to F of B, and any set theoretical definable relation R, A1, A2, dot of AN. Not necessarily for uh, commuting uh, observer. How do you do that? We just proceed. <coughs> now we construct uh, quantum theoretical model on uh, VQ. Um, VQ is just very in parallel with the construction of VB, B for the uh, complete Boolean algebra and the um, Boolean variable model construction is very parallel with this uh, construction VQ. So for let Q be the quantum logic on the Hilbert uh, space A. And for every ordinal alpha, B alpha Q is defined by the uh, all the functions from the uh, definition to uh, domain to uh, Q and domain is a subset of some uh, previously constructed uh, subunit. Then a uh, Q value delivers is defined by all this union of the, all of this V alpha for all the ordinal numbers. Now the quite different uh, structure uh, from the Boolean by the model that we constantly need to consider the uh, commutativity of uh, truth by or uh, projection bar. So we consider uh, P and Q are uh, commuting, means that we is defined by this formula. And for any subset of the uh, quantum logic, we define commuter, means that the all the elements are commuting with the uh, element in A. Then uh, we define the commutator of the subset by this formula. Uh, this is a commutant. Uh, so the maximum projection in the commutant in which the uh, P1 and the E and P2 and the E are commuting uh, for all the elements in A. So uh, for, in other words, P commutant, uh, commutator is the greatest projection in commutant such that uh, a and P is a Boolean. For example, if the two computator for two uh, projections is defined um, just in this way. And then uh, we, const <coughs> we construct the uh, support of the uh, quantum uh, set uh, here. Uh, defined by the uh, recursion uh, on the rank of U, defined in this way. This is just the uh, 
this um, is a, a set of uh, <laughs> elements of Q, it means that projection, um, which is necessary to define um, U. Because uh, uh, in order to define U, um, we need some uh, elements of Q in this way. So, and uh, the construction is very recursive way. So, uh, we define all the uh, elements of Q necessary for defining U in recursive way. Uh, and uh, for any subclass, uh, LA is uh, defined in this, in this way. And then, and, uh, for the given uh, subclass of the uh, BQ, the commutator of this uh, subclass is defined uh, just the commutator of the projections in this uh, support of this uh, subset. Means that the uh, commutator of the old uh, projection used uh, to construct the quantum sets in this class ring. And if you consider the finite subset, we write in this way. And also, the, uh, this uh, commutator uh, for finite subset is just uh, infinite with the commutator for pairs. Now, uh, we, need, we shall uh, assign uh, all the set theoretical formula uh, with uh, uh, quantum uh, truth part. In order to do that, we introduce the language for the uh, set theory. Here, uh, L of Y is the language of the elementary theory without constant, with equality, and the binary predicate uh, membership, and bounded quantifiers. Uh, and we consider this uh, language, uh, introducing also the binary predicate, which correspond to the commutative property uh, and all the uh, names uh, is uh, included in this language as a constant. Then uh, for any statement in this language, the uh, Q value to truth value is defined by the following recursive discussion. The uh, equality uh, is defined using recursively the uh, using the truth value of the membership. It's just, this is just the uh, extensionality. Relation. And then a uh, truth value for the uh, membership is just the uh, value of this uh, uh, function. Originally, the quantum set is defined to be the uh, function over the subset of the universe to the uh, projection that's Q. And so the, this is just like a fuzzy set. Uh, so this is uh, approximately means the membership. But now we just slightly modify this number. Then our commutativity relation defines the predicate describing the commutativity of two quantum sets. And then we introduce the logical symbols in the usual way and the quantifiers in the usual way. In this way, we can assign to every a statement in the uh, set theory to some projection. Um, so for any statement, uh, we write uh, this statement uh, is satisfied by this uh, model PQ uh, if this projection value, uh, truth value is uh, unit. <coughs> now the, this uh, uh, quantum logic valued model of uh, set theory includes the uh, standard set. Uh, so uh, let D be the standard uh, universe of DFC set theory, then we can embed uh, this to be the, some uh, constant, this is like constant shift. And then a formula, uh, we call the delta zero formula in this uh, language to be the uh, formula only with uh, bounded uh, quantifier. Then uh, we said we prove that uh, delta zero elementary equivalence principle means that for every delta zero formula, uh, 
and uh, every constant uh, denoting the uh, standard set. <coughs> so uh, this formula is satisfied in the standard universe if and only if this uh, embedded uh, formula is satisfied in quantum um, set theory. So, if you consider the bounded formula with uh, this embedding, this embedding is just like uh, elementary in the model theoretical sense. <coughs> and uh, our transfer principle is as follows. Delta zero transfer principle is theta. For every delta zero formula in quantum um, in set theoretical language, and for every L2 proof of the um, quantum set, if this formula is a theorem of ZFC, then the quantum mechanical, uh, quantum logical truth value of this ZFC theorem is always lower bounded by the uh, truth value of the commutator uh, of the constant appearing in this formula. So, uh, if your quantum sets appearing in this uh, delta zero formula is commuting in this uh, in the usual sense, then always this is two uh, squared one, and uh, <coughs> we can just uh, we can just determine the uh, lower bound of this truth value as a uh, commutator of those uh, quantum sets. We can also generalize uh, transfer principle from <coughs> delta zero formula to arbitrary uh, unbounded formula. Uh, <coughs> now we consider the uh, real numbers uh, in this quantum uh, set theory. <coughs> Um, we start with uh, rational numbers in the standard uh, set theory, then uh, embedding with the standard rational number uh, in the quantum set theory is also uh, treated as a uh, rational number. <laughs> However, the embedding of the real number is not necessarily the real number in the quantum set theory. Uh, in order to uh, define the real number in the uh, quantum set theory, we define a real number to be a dedicated cut uh, of the set of rational numbers. <coughs> so the predicate uh, Rx mean x is the real number is expressed by this theoretical formula describing as the uh, <coughs> dedicated cut. Then a uh, set of the real numbers in this uh, quantum set theoretical model is defined by the, uh, this particular, um, with this particular domain and the truth value is a uh, uh, unit for uh, this uh, uh, delicate uh, cut defining formula. <coughs> then uh, we obtain the uh, characterization of the uh, real numbers in the quantum set theory. There is a uh, one-to-one -one correspondence between real number uh, in VQ and the self operator A only, <coughs> which corresponds the uh, Spectral projection uh, corresponds to this uh, truth value, or uh, <coughs> this formula or this formula. Now uh, we consider the uh, embedding of the uh, standard uh, proportional uh, standard observation proportion in, into the uh, set theoretical proportion in quantum set theory. Uh, to every interval i, um, we construct the interval in the quantum set theory in the following uh, definition, uh, some kind of the shift theoretical uh, definition. Then uh, we have the following um, theory, which is just the, uh, for any self interpreter A, we have a, a tilde in the quantum set theory uh, corresponding to. Yeah, A tilde is here. Real uh, <coughs> number in quantum set theory corresponding to a <coughs> self-adjective operator A. We define it this way. 
Uh, so, and also the uh, interval, I is in embedded in the quantum set really as the interval of in the quantum set, um, I tilde. So the A tilde in I tilde is a set theoretical uh, formula. And the truth value of this set theoretical formula just is equal to the spectral projection of the self identical variable, A corresponding to original interval I. And by this theorem, we can recon reconstruct the Borel formula also from the set theoretical interval. So as about there is a natural one-to-one correspondence between quantum observables and the real numbers in quantum set theory. The observational uh, proposition and their properties are realized as generally defined statement on real numbers in <coughs> quantum set theoretical models and their uh, probability. And also that we can, can characterize commutative with the real numbers and simultaneously determine it as a quantum observable. <coughs> We just define uh, joint probability of the uh, two observable AD in a state of sight to be the uh, some uh, hidden variable interpretation of the quantum mechanical uh, expectation of all the polynomia of f of A and g of T <coughs> by this uh, standard <coughs> integral formula. Then uh, joint probability distribution exists if and only <coughs> The corresponding quantum uh, real number A to the B to the uh, are commuting in this state. This is state uh, dependent uh, true square. It means that the projection um, corresponding to true square of this uh, includes uh, this state as an element of substance. So it is easy to extend the above theorem to arbitrary set of observables. And from the above and the ZFC transfer principle, the condition for a set of observables to have simultaneous values is, is equivalent to the condition that for that set of observables, the corresponding set of real numbers in VQ satisfies every theorem of ZFC in that state. Because uh, in this state, uh, this is a commutator. Uh, is uh, uh, satisfied, equal to one. So the, uh, <coughs> from this, uh, in this state, uh, the probability of this, uh, uh, any GFC theorem, uh, probability of GFC theorem in this state is always one. And also, uh, <coughs> we consider the uh, equality in the quantum circuit. Identity of the values of quantum observables and equality of quantum real. According to the standard interpretation of quantum theory, atomic observation propositions are restricted to those of the form A Q that is in IQ. However, quantum theory extends the interpretation to more general type of observation proposition. For example, A is equal to B. In quantum theory, two reals, A and B, is considered to have the same value in state side, if and only if probability of the statement A tilde is equal to B is equal to 1 in state side. <coughs> and we discuss uh, empirical adequacy of this interpretation. So we define uh, the probability of this uh, observational statement just as a uh, propositional uh, <coughs> uh, set theoretical uh, definition of the interpretation. However, this uh, set theoretical probability he has uh, some very, very um, convenient interpretation in real physics. So for any observable A, B, and on H, and any state of psi, the following conditions are equivalent. So uh, A tilde is equal to B, uh, satisfied in state of psi, or uh, probability of the, this uh, set theoretical statement, A tilde is equal to B tilde, uh, is one in state of size, if and only for one of those states. For example, um, this condition is equivalent to the joint probability distribution of A, observable A and B exist, and satisfies uh, here. Uh, the joint probability is concentrated on the diagonal. This is just the um, probability theoretical uh, expression uh, that uh, a and B have the same value with probability 1. Uh, so uh, this, uh, uh, this formula not necessarily assumes the commutativity of A and B, but uh, um, 
this uh, uh, satisfaction of this condition automatically <coughs> implies the commutativity of this uh, operator. So, from the last condition, we can conclude A and B are simultaneously measurable in psi, and each simultaneous measurement gives the same outcome for both A and B. That's a quantum theoretical interpretation justified by <coughs> operational way. You, we, we can, from this, you can uh, measure A and B simultaneously, and uh, in this simultaneous measure always give the same value. <coughs> Now we consider the uh, uncertainty principle. Uh, now uh, we show that uh, quantum measurement theory plus uh, quantum theory, theory, which uh, provides us uh, uh, some interpretation with the uh, equality of the uh, values of the both, uh, derive a new uncertainty principle. Conventional view is that uh, commutativity is equivalent to the simultaneous measurement in a uh, good state independence. However, now new result is commutativity implies simultaneous majority, but simultaneous majority is not necessarily uh, implies commutativity in state dependence. And we obtain the uh, new quantitative relation. Um, original uh, Heisenberg relation is that uh, the error of the two <coughs> Simultaneous measurement always larger than uh, expectation commutator. However, uh, this can be uh, violated by, for example, EPR state. Um, universally true formula uh, requires two additional terms. Um, another term is that the uh, standard deviation of A just before the measurement times unveiled E measurement error plus. Um, a measurement error times uh, standard deviation just before the measurement of B. <coughs> so uh, this new formula can be proved that uh, which holds universally for every measurement. <coughs> now we start with uh, uh, some um, <coughs> historical background for uh, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Heisenberg introduced commutation relation in 1927, uh, this one. Yeah? And he claimed that uh, commutation relation uh, <coughs> implies uh, this uh, Heisenberg error trade relation. Here, uh, epsilon q is the mean error of the position measurement, epsilon t is the mean error of the momentum measurement. Or, uh, this continuous change is thereby caused from momentum by the position measurement. And he claimed that this relation is a straightforward mathematical consequence of this uh, commutation relation. Heidelberg's uh, derivation in his 1927 paper is that follow. He starts with uh, Heidelberg penalty inequality for uh, standard deviation. Uh, product of the uh, standard deviation position and momentum is larger than one half of each bar. He proves this for uh, equal uh, for uh, Gaussian state and uh, cannot generalize to arbitrary wave function. Then uh, he implicitly uses the following approximate repeatability hypothesis. Any measurement with error in zero A of an observable A gives the object in the state satisfying standard deviation is almost equal to the uh, <coughs> error in zero A. <coughs> this comes from the repeatability hypothesis in which the, any precise measurement uh, leaves the uh, object in the eigenstate. So if zero A is zero, then uh, sigma A is also zero because um, any precise measurement leaves the state in eigenstate. And the approximate sense we keep the key for contemporaries of uh, this uh, <coughs> time uh, uh, assumes uh, this relation for <coughs> standard deviation after the measurement and error. From this, uh, it is easy to, from, uh, it is easy uh, just to uh, uh, obtain from this standard deviation relation uh, to uh, uncertainty relation in this form. So uh, under the assumption of the approximate repeatability hypothesis, equation 4 follows immediately from this uh, Hena uh, relation. And the repeatability hypothesis in conventional quantum theory is quite uh, strictly formulated by Paul Neumann. Also, Schrodinger definition measurement includes uh, repeatability hypothesis. 
the keyboard. The systematically arranged the interaction of the two systems, measured observed object and the measuring instruments, is called a measurement on the first system if a directly sensible variable feature of the second or appointed position is always reproduced within certain error limits when the process is immediately repeated on the same object, which in the meantime uh, must not be exposed to any additional influence. So, uh, Schrodinger and von Neumann assumed repeatable hypothesis and uh, approximate repeatability happens as a natural consequence of this uh, assumption. <coughs> However, the modern quantum measurement theory <coughs> should uh, abandon this repeatability. Uh, Davis and Lewis in 1970 uh, paper wrote, uh, one of the crucial notions is that of repeatability which we show is <coughs> implicitly assumed in most of the axiomatic treatment of quantum mechanics. But Food's abandonment leads to a much more flexible approach to measurement theory. So now we have the uh, <coughs> measurement theory which abandons um, <coughs> repeatable hypothesis. We treat all the generalized measurement as a uh, measurement. <coughs> Violation of the uncertainty principle of the past uh, pointed out shredding for the uh, EPR experiment I, I already mentioned. So uncertainty principle should be formulated state dependent because EPR experiment is state dependent. And also the gamma ray microscope thought experiment should be considered state dependent because uh, the resolution power is determined by the wavelength of the gamma ray only if the electron is suitably localized in the scope of the microscope. <coughs> Thus, the resolution power is a state-dependent notion. So, uh, Heisenberg's original argument also was state-dependent. So, we should uh, formalize uh, uncertainty principle to be the state-dependent uh, way. However, the problem uh, arises. We don't have the state-dependent notion of the precise measurement up to now. Now, we introduce preciseness of measurement using this quantum theoretical inequality equality of the observer. So we define a model of measuring process. So uh, K describes a uh, probe system, and C describes a uh, uh, state preparation of the probe. U describes uh, a unitary interaction for probe and uh, uh, measured system, and N is a meta observable in probe. So a uh, measuring process modeled by K, C, U, N. Uh, it is said to be precisely measured and observable A in this state of psi <coughs> if this condition is satisfied. This condition said that uh, if the, in this initial state, uh, <coughs> initial state is product state for system and flow, and in this state, uh, this values of the uh, measured observable and the values of the meta after the interaction should be equal. So this is very clear. <coughs> so the uh, meta reproduces, should meta should reproduce the value of the observable to be greater just before the measurement with probability one in this state. So this condition is uh, precisely or rigorously uh, already formalized in quantum set theory. So we can use this condition. Also, the uh, we. Defined. A P of M pi precisely measured an observable A in state psi if there is a measuring process which is the dilation of this uh, pi and which is which precisely measuring A such uh, as this process uh, the dilation of the P of M. So there are, we can extend the precise measurement uh, in the level of P of M using this dilation delay. Then uh, we can characterize the uh, precise measurement in, the term, in terms of P of M. A P of M precisely measures an observable A on H if and only if uh, this condition is satisfied. This is a very uh, <coughs> simple condition which is usually called the uh, weak joint distribution. So the, you can um, experimentally uh, check uh, this condition. And this uh, theorem um, it should have been derived from our characterization of this, uh, this part. So uh, our characterization of the equality 
the, in the quantum set theory, derives the characterization of the uh, precise measurement in the terms of the P of the equation. Now when we <coughs> discuss the uh, preciseness of measurement and the root mean square, we can define the root mean square uh, in the following way. We define the error of this uh, measurement process, just the uh, uh, difference between the observable to be measured and the meta observable after the interaction. Then the root mean square is just defined by root mean square of this uh, not error observed. Then we, 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 we have root. A uh, measuring process precisely measured an observable A in the state psi if and only if this root mean square is always zero for every <coughs> state psi uh, which is slightly modified by this unitary operator. Um, by exponential of uh, a. So, uh, in particular, if the measurement is precise, always this is, um, error should be zero because it, it corresponds to the case t equal to zero. So, uh, now we obtain the uh, universally valid uh, trade of relation uh, I mentioned before here. <coughs> so, uh, this cannot be both of them to be the equal if this is not uh, zero. So this, uh, uh, but uh, we we already know that the, all the uh, we know that uh, if the measurement is precise, uh, epsilon should be zero. So if the if epsilon is not equal to zero, means that you cannot make a precise measurement. So. Uh, this uh, uh, error uh, notion is some uh, lower uh, estimate of the uh, error. And now um, this relation also uh, concludes the uh, uh, original Heisenberg relation uh, from this uh, uh, intermediate relation. <coughs> so uh, this relation concludes that if the error and the disturbance are statis statistically independent from the system, then the uh, original relation holds. So the original relation holds if the error is independent from the uh, measured system. Now the uh, <coughs> relation um, 8, uh, if you uh, take epsilon b to be 0, we two, two terms are vanished. Only one term uh, remain. So we have this relation. And if the initial state has an uh, infinite standard deviation, it is possible both uh, epsilon b is zero and epsilon a is to be uh, approaches to zero. Both of them are very small. So this is just the case in the EPR state. In the EPR state, uh, the initial uh, standard deviation is infinitely large. So uh, this relation allows the uh, uh, joint simultaneous measurement position and the momentum under this uh, control. <coughs> And actually, we can construct the measurement model uh, in which the EPR state uh, position and momentum can be measured simultaneously, and state dependently, because we will be use the coordination in EPR state. Uh, thank you for this. Here, uh, 
uh, we assume that the implication is defined as a Sasaki input. And uh, we use this implication um, in the definition of the uh, truth value uh, here. So here uh, we assume the Sasaki proof. Then uh, we obtain uh, those uh, uh, results. However, however, we already shown that if you use instead of Sasaki proof, but instead of every uh, six polynomial uh, well-known uh, implication, for every uh, definition of uh, implication, um, is uh, sufficient to uh, <coughs> obtain those results. So those results does not depend on the choice of the implication. Uh, so. uh, any more questions, comments? Thanks, speak again. Thank you.